Hey guys! So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I went out and bought some of these recently because I've heard a lot of really good things. So toward the middle of this video, I'm going to be also doing a fall-inspired lip swatch video on some of the colors that I have because I think that these are all really great for fall. So I'll show you swatches of what they look like on the lips. So what do you say we just go ahead and get started and I really hope you guys enjoy the video. So starting off, I bought my soft matte lip creams from Ulta, and I've mentioned this before in a couple of other videos, but I don't really like to buy my makeup from Ulta because the one that I live by, I feel like is terrible at restocking. I feel like every time I go there, I can't find what I want, or they just don't have it, or sometimes I've gotten really old makeup from there, like their restocking is not great. So I sometimes try my best to stay away from Ulta, but at the same time, they're the only place around here really that sells the complete collection of soft matte lip creams where you can find any shade that you want. So this time when I went it actually didn't turn out to be too bad of an experience because I was able to find the shades that I wanted. It's just sometimes going in there is a little bit frustrating. Each one of the soft matte lip creams at Ulta retails for about $5.99 and the good thing about Ulta is a lot of times they'll have deals where you can buy two get one free so instead of paying full price for all of them you're you're technically getting three for the price of two so it's pretty inexpensive to own these compared to a lot of the other brands that have liquid lipsticks or matte lip creams so I think that's one of the greatest things about these is that they're very inexpensive so now I'm going to go ahead and get into the review and one of the first things that I wanted to talk about and, and one of the things that I think a lot of people wonder about when you're buying liquid lipsticks and matte lip creams is the drying time. So funny story, a couple months ago I ended up buying an Ulta liquid lipstick and I went to put it on and it took 15 minutes to dry and I think it was 15 minutes to dry with me like trying to make it dry like I think I even got out my hair dryer and was like please dry it took forever and a girl just does not have time for that so I was kind of worried that the NYX ones would be very similar but they're not I think from the time that I am done applying it to the time that it's completely matte is only like four or five minutes which is very reasonable the next thing that I wanted to talk about with these is the application process. So the process of applying them is actually pretty easy. I don't consider myself to be great at putting on lipstick. I definitely think it's a skill that you have to develop throughout time and I'm just not great at it yet. Some people are. I'm just not. But I think the great thing about these is that they're really good for everybody. They're very easy to go on. They don't make your lips look too dry and cracked after they've mattified. And so I think it's great that they're more for everyone and that everyone can make them look good, not just people who are really experienced with putting lipstick on. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is the lasting power of these. So I would say the lasting power is kind of average. It's not fantastic. I do know Notice that after a couple of hours of having these on it starts to flake off here like on the inner part of the lip and I think that's pretty natural it does tend to happen with a lot of lip products and to be honest it's not a huge deal for me because I never have lipstick on for more than a few hours but if you're someone that likes to have lipstick on all day I think you're definitely gonna have to reapply at some point so they don't last too long, but I think for a person like me, it's fine. So one of the last things that I wanted to mention is how these smell. So the best way that I could describe it is that it smells like icing, like I don't know, a nice vanilla cupcake or something like that. And I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love cupcakes. I feel like regular lip products tend to smell very weird. They have very weird scents usually. So when I opened up these and realized that they smelled so good, I don't know, it was just like instant happiness. <laughs> So now I'm going to go ahead and get into the swatches. I'm going to be swatching four shades for you, and they're all pretty different shades, but I think that they're all really great shades for fall. So let's just go ahead and get swatching. So the first shade that I have on my lips is called San Paolo. It's the number 08, and I think this is a great fall pink color. If you're someone who likes to wear pinks at all times of the year, sometimes pinks don't always work, but I think this one really does for fall. It's a little bit more muted and a lot less bright than a lot of other pink lipsticks are, so I would definitely recommend this if you're a pink lipstick wearer. I'm not traditionally one, but I think this is great for a 
skin tone like mine, and one that would be great for a lot of other ones too. So this is 08 Sun Paulo. The next shade that I have to show you is 09 Abu Dhabi, and it is the one that's on my lips right now. I wasn't really sure how I was going to feel about this color because it's on the brown side, and I've never experimented with a brown lipstick before, but it actually turned out to be one of my favorite ones. I think it's very close to the color of my natural lips, but not exactly the same, so it still looks like I have something on my lips, but it's not like bam in your face. So I think this is the perfect everyday really wearable color so Abu Dhabi the third shade that I have to show you is this one it is number 10 Monte Carlo and I think that this one looks a little bit darker in the packaging than it really goes on on the lips it's very fire truck red on the lips and in here it looks a little bit more blood red like a deeper red but I'm still fine with that because I think this is a very classic red lip and I've been really into red lips lately especially for the fall so this is number 10 Monte Carlo so the last shade that I have to show you guys is this one. It is number 21 Transylvania, and I have to say that this is a really terrifying color. It almost looks black in this packaging and kind of on the lips, but it's actually just a very deep, deep purple berry color, and I definitely think that it takes a lot of confidence to wear this one, and if you have the confidence to rock it, then you totally should. It's a little bit of a risk and not very much of an everyday wearable color but sometimes it's fun to take risks while wearing makeup and if you have the confidence to why not so this is number 21 Transylvania so guys, that's going to be it for my review on the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. Overall, I would definitely recommend these. I think they're great because they're really inexpensive, they have a lot of different shades that you can choose from, and also I think they're great for everyone, not just people that are good and experienced at putting on lipstick. So if you were thinking about going out and buying some of these, I would totally recommend that you do, and I don't think that you'll be sorry. So I think that's going to be it for today, but I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video.